Hi. Hello. Uh, it's Lisa, uh, aka Wooden Dragon, for all those people who who live in our social networks. And near me is Alexei Skrinnikov, our lead uh, lead character, character artist. artist. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so today we decided to try something uh, a little unusual type of stream. Uh, we've seen how much um, many of you like um, all those dev diaries uh, where we go a little bit, bit deeper to the process of make, making things for the game. So uh, we decided to show you something about the art department and their work. Uh, and hope uh, you will like it too. So just before we start, I wanted to ask you something. Okay. Please uh, tell a couple of words about yourself, uh, how you ended up in all cat games and so maybe in game dev in whole. So yeah, that's that's a huge question. Uh, okay, um, I, ca I came uh, initially. I came from a uh, artist family, so my granddad was an artist. Uh, my parents were artists, uh, so I end ended up um, studying in the university. Uh, so I've got a degree in arts, and uh, <coughs> after that I worked as a designer a little bit. Uh, I was making visit cards, uh, books, stuff like that. And uh, in the end I realized that it's, it wasn't uh, quite what I liked. So I started making mods for games, and uh, one of my favorite games of all times uh, it used to be Unreal Tournament, uh, if you know what it's... Uh, you know, it's a, it's an old arena shooter game, so... Uh, I think everyone uh, here yeah, should know I, I, this. Yeah, I guess everybody It's knows. quite old school. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Even uh, me. <laughs> I started making mods for it, like, uh, in 2005, around that. And um, uh, I've been doing it since then, and uh, uh, sooner or later, uh, another game company, a huge game company, it's Perosoft, uh, it's located in St. Petersburg in Russia, but it's not a Russian company, it's, uh, uh, it's Canadian or American, um, I don't remember exactly. Uh, so they uh, hired me, uh, invited me, and I joined uh, the team, and I started working in game dev. Uh, I started making models, and uh, I guess 3D art was what uh, was, was most exciting for me. So yeah, uh, I spent a couple of years there, and um, later I joined another team at Mail.ru in Moscow, and uh, after that I ended up here, and so this is what I do right now, I'm making characters for this game. So, and what are we going to do now? Uh, okay, so... Uh, I'm sorry, I just want to answer the chat. Uh, yeah. uh, unfortunately, we know there is a bit of echo, but uh, we, we, we cannot uh, do anything with it right now because that's kind of a room we have here. I hope uh, we will be able uh, in the future to make it better. Some, some put here some stuff <laughs> and make it gone, but still, uh, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so the noise shielding and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not sure how it's called. Put in so, so, some clothes, some <laughs> uh, <laughs> coaches, uh, and uh, blankets. All right, so uh, I guess uh, the chat. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but but uh, please tell us: Do you hear us in the hall? And is it uh, accept acceptable? <laughs> Like that. Oh, I. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you guys great. understand us? Is it is it clear? <laughs> Please knock three times <laughs> if anything is bad. Okay, so, I see people are so, uh, joking. They hear my speakers, or what? Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Just a second. I. S there was um, the stream from the headphones. Uh, so, okay. okay, let's go straight to the point, I guess. All what right. we will be doing today? 
so our idea was to show you uh, the process of creating a character, uh, specifically a character head. So uh, in our pipeline, uh, which is uh, uh, my job here is uh, everything related to characters. So the whole character system where you can change clothes, uh, change body parts, stuff like that. I don't do creatures, but this whole system is what I do. Uh, and uh, a part of it is uh, what uh, we do about creating initial uh, like uh, base bodies and base heads and it's slightly different from how we create armors. You probably saw uh, a video that we posted earlier about how we create ar armors and um, in that case we avoid the brush entirely uh, and in this case we're going to sculpt a head, uh, a tiefling head uh, and we will show you how we do this. So basically it's going to be a ZBrush sculpt uh, for like an hour or an hour and a half. Should I just open yeah, this window? Yeah, I guess window? we should just... Uh, so, as you see, there is already a head here. Yeah, so that's this guy is um, our um, default tiefling guy. Um, Oh, oh, they're asking, is it Paul Jeff? No, 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 no it's, not, it's not him yet. Uh, I guess we'll make him a unique head at some point. Yeah. I, I'm not Let's sure. I guess we, we just can't talk about it yet. So this is uh, the default Tiffling guy. And uh, this is not the in-game model. Uh, it's a high-poly model made in ZBrush. It's sculpted. And um, uh, before we put it into the game, we make a low poly version of it, we make normal maps, in case any of you know what normal normal maps is. Uh, so, <coughs> it's part of the process. J uh, just a little bit about normal maps. Uh, uh, it's it's like a huge topic, so... Uh, I, normal I maps, uh, it's a way to uh, transfer high poly details to low poly details. So, let's say you have uh, two models, a high poly model and a low poly model. A high poly model, high means uh, millions of polygons, so that's something a game engine cannot handle at all. Uh, but you need all this detail on your low poly model, and low poly model is like a thousand triangles, something like that. So, a huge difference. Uh, to do that, uh, you take a high poly model, a high poly model, I'm sorry, and you project normals from it. So what's normal, it's, uh, I guess, I guess I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll be stuck here because it's like, it's huge, a, it's a high huge, magic thing. huge explanation. So a normal is something that describes in 3D, not, not specifically like everywhere, but in 3D, a normal, a normal is something that describes how uh, a surface reflects light. So it's basically it's a line that uh, goes straight to the surface. So if you don't change the surface, but you change the normal itself, you change the way how the surface reflects light. Uh, and uh, so you just basically take all the normals from the high poly mesh and you transfer them to the low poly mesh. Uh, and that's the part that we're not, go we're not going to show you, but it's, it's like technical, it's more boring, so, yeah. But this helps to show uh, different effects, right? Yeah, it's, it helps you show the shape of the high poly model. So, uh, like, a, when you see the low poly model, you see the, the silhouette itself, uh, it's pretty low poly. You see the polygons, you see the angles, uh, but uh, the shading on the model uh, behaves uh, the way that it looks like it's high poly model. So that's it. So let's go uh, <laughs> back to oh, yeah. our happy yeah. tiefling. So the problem here that is that uh, we can show you the concept art that, we were, that we're going to use. Uh, as you can see, this guy is already done. So he's finished. And You're uh, like uh, talking to the chat, straight to the chat. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 I guess they are all yeah there. yeah I agree. Uh, so um, this guy here is finished uh, and we don't need to work on him anymore. And uh, later we're going to show you actually how he looks like in the game. Uh, but uh, what we need to do now is uh, create a different head based on this one. Uh, so for Tiflings, uh, our idea was that we want 
uh, a whole range of faces ranging from like the most human looking faces and to the most beast looking faces so this guy is the most human looking tiefling and we are going to we, we will try at least to make him the most beast looking guy i guess that's already uh, some some different thing from kingmaker yeah we, we uh, didn't have uh, so, so, such I'm, a range i'm not quite sure the concept art came from kingmaker so i guess we had some, we couldn't show it like in full detail stop teasing there yeah <laughs> <laughs> right <All> right <laughs> uh, okay uh, question here um, uh, ta -ta -ta. Uh, Galagrafia asks uh, what software we are using. We uh, talk. Uh, we told it just yeah, at the just, start, we but it. We, we can uh, do it once again. It's ZBrush. Yep. And привет uh, Ibsen. We have some Russian friends here, and uh, nice horns, cheekbones. I can tell. His grandpa was a real devil. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I guess that's that's a thank you from Qu 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 quite a serious man. Uh, will there be more variety of face models this time? Ah, I just mm -hmm. talked about it. Will there be yeah. uh, more variety of face models this time? I guess yes. Mm. So I guess we can. Also, can't more variety of beards. Yeah, right. Was a social goal or I mean, other things? I mean, I, I'm not sure. I'm, uh, we, I guess we will at least have as many as we had in King, in King Maker, plus we will have uh, some new races. Uh, but I'm not sure about the variety of faces. We'll uh, see. Uh, our approach to variety of faces is going, is going to be different. So uh, in uh, Kingmaker we uh, tried to show different emotions on faces. Like you could see that there is a normal human and then like an evil angry. human, angry human and like a happy human with a smile on his face. Because the models were like, like this, so they were small and you couldn't, uh, you needed something very like, I don't know, very recognizable. And now that we uh, have more det detail and uh, we are going to show the faces closer in the game, uh, we might go for more subtle changes, like uh, different characters, mm -hmm. like a guy with a wider face, and a guy with a huge nose and stuff like that. So that's uh, going to be the Sounds cool. All okay. right. I don't know, should we start? Okay. Please. Sorry for the long start. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. So you are, what exactly? What changes are you playing? Planning? All right. Uh, planning? First, I need to open a concept art for me to see. Unfortunately, and you no won't one be able sees see it. Uh, uh, so I guess the, fir the first step is going to be to destroy everything and just... <laughs> yeah. So why do we need uh, a uh, ready head to uh, destroy everything? Uh, so uh, the thing is about uh, different heads that uh, we're going to change heads, but uh, different heads uh, should be able to, uh, to be compatible with the same haircuts. Mm -hmm. So like... Here is the uh, places where hair grows on the head. They should stay the same. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but you're going to I wipe his in yeah, face I itself. I'm going to wipe uh -huh. his face. Also, yeah, the ears were going to change too. So uh, the, 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 no? the basic head proportions will change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we're going to change the horns as well. So this guy is going to have like huge, huge horns. Uh, I'll uh, read a bit of chart yeah, sure. while you're starting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Will the models be bigger now? Uh, they are definitely d more detailed, as you already may maybe can see. Uh, yeah, they will. They will be bigger. See how f how huge. Not like this. Not like this. But um, yeah, they will be bigger. 
was the process you used in ZBrush to sculpt the head using Dina mesh subdivisions, etc. Um, okay. Yep, Dina mesh subdivisions, etc. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> this is what you see at the moment. You may name so, some things you are using if they are mentionable. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. I need to concentrate a little bit, just, okay. just a little bit. <laughs> okay. So th this guy is going to have huge horns, so I need to find a way to scale them up uh, and to, to not to destroy like completely. Right. I'm interested too. <laughs> When I'm uh, reading the chat, I can see all the magic happening here. Uh, duck. Uh, how will they do? How will the way the game show faces change more close up, uh, or it is? Is it like uh, the angle is better to see a character's face? Maybe a bit more close up, uh, but but not uh, s s <laughs> such a close up as you can imagine, uh, but... Uh, one, one thing I know is that uh, the window that shows you the character in the, um, in the menu uh, is going to be bigger than in Kingmaker. Ah, uh, you mean uh, the, the door yeah, the, room, yeah, I believe? Yeah, the, the door room, yeah. In uh, inventory? It, it's not uh, designed yet, but uh, it's, it's going to be bigger. And uh, as everyone... <laughs> As everyone watches the screen, hoping that he accidentally puts the concept art on the screen. Ah. I mean, I mean, I wish, I wish we, I could. <laughs> we made everything possible to not do that, but who knows? Maybe we made some. <laughs> maybe we can make some mistakes. I hope not. Uh, I bet he has the concept art on a separate laptop lot mm -hmm. <laughs> to avoid showing Yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> not, not a laptop, but yeah, I know. Separate screen, actually. Vandrus Dragon loves tiefling with large horns. So you will be pleased today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's more like an... Uh, how is it? Oven. How is it I in don't English? Remember. Uh, male sheep. <laughs> Will you have more hair in water? <laughs> uh, do you mean uh, all of the characters <laughs> just <laughs> hairer? <laughs> Or <laughs> you mean uh, more types of hairstyles? Because uh, if the second, if the first one, I actually don't know. Maybe it's called in uh, World Wound, <laughs> so everyone's more hair. Uh, but if you mean the second one, uh, probably because, uh, as I've told b uh, before, as we all know, uh, thanks to all. Our great people in social networks and their support uh, they've funded uh, not funded but they've unlocked long ago uh, social stretch goal uh, about more uh, um, custom custom details H how is it called custom styles for characters yeah, so there will be more gears and beard is a hair <laughs> and hairstyles and s maybe something else like scars maybe yeah we were planning to make uh, like uh, we actually built a whole system uh, for that so we could uh, use the same scars for all faces and uh, all, all, all the faces share the same UV layout uh, so yeah that's going to be an option as far as I know, at least. Is it wrinkles you're giving him? Uh, no. Uh, what I need is to flatten his nose. Ah. Because what, what I see in the on, on the concept art, 
he doesn't actually have a nose, um, but he has like like holes, like a skull. It's like more, more like something lizardish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking how to make it easier. I mean, in a way, it's hard to concentrate. You may add there some hair. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, oh, chat is too. Uh, just chat runs. Uh, maybe I need to open it on my phone. Probably. I don't know. Just a second. I'm sorry. But will female <coughs> dwarves have beards? Oh, I guess no. This time again, no. Yeah, they, they oh, he, he, he looks more like uh, the one who we shouldn't name <laughs> from, from Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's going to be a triangular. He, he's, he's going to have a triangular chin, so not exactly. Вопрос на русском. I will uh, translate it to English later. Здравствуйте, вы что пытаетесь сейчас смоделировать тифлинг из вчерашнего показа Ларио? <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? I was trying to uh, 3D model tifling from yesterday's Larian's show. Uh, so what what we did when we were making uh, the original face, which is this one. Uh, uh, they are teasing you to show concepts, but this I, won't I mean, happen. Yeah, but I, 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 I can actually explain why it happened. Uh, because uh, when we were making that hat, uh, we uh, used as one of our references <coughs> an image of Mephistopheles statue. So I guess they were going for a similar concept. <coughs> Not similar. <laughs> no, it's it's absolutely it's, it's fresh, a, uh, new, and and uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> made right on your eye, before your eyes. I mean, the character is, itself is pretty well, old. Uh, demon guy. It's like in our culture for centuries. The thing is, uh, you need some reference, you know, when you are making a character or whatnot. There are always some uh, something to. S step from yeah uh, it's, it's normal uh, uh, no I, I think uh, ah, uh, and more mm, of course uh, when we uh, have uh, this stage of pro process when you're sculpting from the concept so it's 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 not the, the very begin. Uh, first, uh, we had this concept to make and some reference to it, maybe yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah we, some uh, design, uh, <coughs> some concept. <laughs> we often uh, so gather additional references um, from the internet, the images, uh, and again, again, if you saw the our video about uh, the. The making of the armor textures. Yeah, yeah, the, the textures. You probably saw the amount of references our artists used. It wasn't me, by the way. Как кажется, я на английском то мы ответили, на на русском нет. В общем, отличная шутка нет, конечно. Ну, был референс, в том числе и Сларианов, но, конечно. Это да мы нет, сейчас при вас делаем. У нас, pardon, у нас Лурианов не было референсов. Да, то есть, а, то есть а, кого, кого нас, я уже забыла. А, мы просто нашли фотку статуи Мефистофеля. А, ну вот, а это довольно... Ну... А это ну, Мефистофель, как бы, он существует давно. И, в принципе, да. когда пытаются сделать демона мужика, то... Бывает похожести. 
<clears throat> also like the white orc from Lord of the Rings. Maybe just a little bit. I guess it's uh, his. Uh, it's because of his skin. Uh, the nose, maybe. His nose was pretty close to what we're doing. Hi, Mokozo. Um. Also, can males and females share some hair types? Uh, that would give more options uh, for both gender. Uh, what about that? Mm. You couldn't Te technically, do it technically, it's possible. I mean, it's it's, it's, a, it's a little bit different shapes. Mm -hmm. head? Yeah, but it's a little bit of rock. But uh, you can take uh, male hair and put it on a female head. But but it's, it's easier than making. This ability? I mean, it's easier than making hair from scratch. Uh, but uh, will we do this? I'm not sure. It's uh, it's it's not just technical thing, you know. It's also d design thing. Yeah. And uh, sometimes we just. Like uh, this type of, this type of hair, uh, women of Galarian <laughs> won't uh, wouldn't have had. <laughs> so it's yeah, it's usually. Um, I mean, it's pa partially it's a design choice. Like uh, designers decide what we need to do, and we just make art <coughs> according to what we, what they need. Uh, but also. Uh, sometimes we uh, need to like separate different races and uh, different uh, genders from each other. Uh, so we so like, there are some. we do it in a variety of ways. One of which is to give them different haircuts, and uh, it might limit your options, but at the same time it helps the whole vision of the game. Like you, thanks to that, you will be able to instantly recognize. That here is a like a tiefling, and here is a human, and here is an elf. <clears throat> so <laughs> we're asked: uh, Are we searching for concept artists? As I, as far as I know, not no, right no, now. No, no, we don't. We're looking for texture artists. And, uh, an an anima animator? Um, yeah, and an uh, animator as well. <laughs> and a programmer. Повторяю, на русском вы нас спросили, ищем ли мы художников-концептора. К сожалению, сейчас нет, но в принципе мы вывешиваем наши вакансии в группе ВКонтакте. Можно, можно следить вот в принципе сейчас э, нам действительно нужны аниматор и и сам главный художник, художник по текстурам, по текстурам, да, художник да. По текстурам нам нужен но нам нужен опытный художник по текстурам а, к сожалению а, понятно что у нас достаточно необычный пайплайн вот но мы этому научим нужно mm -hmm. именно хорошим художником быть mm -hmm. How much freedom do you get with the artistic side? Mm, compared to what? Hmm. I mean, it's like... Mm -hmm. But like uh, right now you're mainly uh, just mm. trying to rep rep reproduce what you the have concept on the top, concept Yeah, but uh, at the same time uh, sometimes uh, I need to fix some concept art myself, so that's that's a part of my job as well. It's, uh, sometimes you're working on yeah. uh, concept arts. I mean, uh, I'm not like working from scratch. Uh, I usually give tasks to other artists, but uh, when they send something to me, sometimes I need to fix it. So, so like, if we are talking about 3D modeling, uh, how much freedom do you have here? Uh, in 3D modeling... Uh, do you have uh, something? An art here. <laughs> uh, yes, we do. Uh, 
I mean, it's really, it's, it's hard to answer. Mm, without, without, without a reference point. Searching. Yeah, like here. compared to what? If you're comparing us to like an outsourced company, of course we've got a lot of freedom compared to them. So close to the next stretch goal, right? Well, we're already uh, preparing to reveal it. Maybe this weekend. I don't know. You guys are absolutely great with the, all these things. Uh, we were a bit confused <laughs> at first, but uh, but so that's that's a wow. How you deal with uh, the stretch goals? right from the start. Oh! Oh. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tuning uh, these eyeballs may be funny. <laughs> no, yeah. Like, whoa! <laughs> you can do funny things in ZBrush, yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, he was uh, th that's uh, that was uh, a little touch of uh, red fog. <laughs> right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Remember to vault <laughs> right after the Kickstarter campaign. Um, Neck is cut. Oh, okay, it, he was no, uh, more, more like Nosferatu now. Without <laughs> yeah. He's here. <laughs> Don't fear. <laughs> and right, right, just 400 Twitter followers left to Queen Romance Ocean. Wow. We're excited to make this into the game. Oh, Voice of Nature says, Wait, this is my character in Pathfinder Kingmaker. Did you mean this one with the nose? Or yeah, which one? Like, <laughs> like this one without hair? Tell us who are you playing in Kingmaker? I mean, why have normals on the inside if you shouldn't ever see it? Are there some? What? Uh, he, he asks, uh, why have normals in the inside if you shouldn't ever see it? Uh, um. Are there no normals in the inside? Um, I mean... Or it doesn't matter, it's just... Do you mean like two-sided materials? Because if you mean to sided materials, this is what the game engine handles, and it does, doesn't matter really in ZBrush. It's not like you have normals on both sides. <coughs> That's an, inter an interesting question from M. Wong, uh, 1997. Will important characters have unique body models? Mostly? Uh. Maybe. They should body models. Different body models. No, the, no, they will not. Uh, they Most might. faces. They yeah, we are sculpting um, unique faces, but we. There are some complexions. Uh, yeah, and uh, for the body models, we make like two basic body models: one for a male and one for a female, uh, and uh, then we basically just scale them in unity to get all other races. So we, we've got uh, a human body and we've got a, a human male body and a human female body and then we just scale them to become orcs, elves, uh, and then we recolor them, uh, create different textures. So it's all about faces. 
Yeah, 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 it's all over the place. It's it's very expensive sculpting uh, a new body model, and also you won't be able to fit the same clothing on a different body model. So this this is why we decided to go this way, uh, because. Uh, we need like when we make an armor, it should fit all other races and the body types. So if you make a unique body type, you suddenly you need to create a new armor model and a texture probably. So this, this like it increases the cost ex exponentially. <coughs> Some huge companies do this. But Once we'll yeah, be able may to maybe someday. Hopefully. Pathfinder Kingmaker characters Camille goal is already reached. That's cool. Right. That's also absolutely cool. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> if you're wondering what will it be, we cannot tell you yet just because it's still this in discussion. But uh, that's going to be great. I have no doubt. Um, also, quite interesting question about body models. Does Mythic Pass uh, have different models? Mm -hmm. So uh, are they treated like different races, like that? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not Some sure of them maybe. It's a dangerous question. I no, mean, <laughs> I'm not sure what what exactly we can discuss. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, I tried for you. Oh, well, Voice of Nature tells us who, who is he playing. With horns, stifling, red skin, very powerful sorcerer. Called him, I'm sorry if I fail here, uh, Shiogarat. And I guess I will play Tifling again in Pathfinder Wrath of Righteous. M Mid Path Trickster. Oh, I love this one. Uh, loves such type, uh, loves su such type of character. We'll uh, call him Sanguine, another prince of Daedra. Daedra. Well, I'm I'm excited about uh, the trickster path, and I think uh, in my walkthrough I'll I'll do the same. Just uh, love. Chaotic goods, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hi, exes. <laughs> um, I hope the Camille is TikTok. What? What? <laughs> what do you mean? Um, should we make? <laughs> An all cut games TikTok channel? <laughs> I think no. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, you will see the next stretch go, right? I hope this weekend, so I won't reveal it now. I'm sorry. Uh, let me stay a bit. Uh, mysterious here right now. <laughs> Lol, I, wa I wonder if being a gold dragon will have the same body model as a lich. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, it probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a gold lich. <laughs> or will, will a lich have the same body model as a gold dragon? Uh. <laughs> I mean, I could answer this, but, but I, I I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to. <laughs> I, I can answer this. <laughs> leech will be a leech. Uh, chat is uh, again is too fast. Oh, oh. Oh. 
Well, uh, we can't tell you about Cameo, but uh, no one uh, forbids you to send us uh, your wishes or maybe guesses about it. It would be fun. Who are you waiting for? Everyone is actually a leech, right? That's it. Everyone's a leech. But, but there's a spoiler. <laughs> okay, I hope Camille is Lindsay as a book and narrator, which will be really, really cool. Well, you know, for you it will be cool, and I, I think myself also that it will be cool but uh, I I'm sure that for some people it will be too sad because uh, it was rather a ra rather a dramatic uh, thing that happened with her previously in Kingmaker if you know what I mean so should we bother? Should, should, no. Just should we? Mm, I don't know. Matter of discussion. Are you excited to sculpt a swarm model? A swarm model? It probably won't be sculpted. <coughs> face? Yeah, or it would be hooded or something like that? No, uh, actually, I mean, we didn't think about it yet. Uh, no, that's uh, the, another problem uh, of uh, some early stages of development. Yeah. So, uh, there are some things uh, we just can't tell you, unfortunately, but some things we would uh, ha be happy to tell you, but, but it's not ready yet, not... not uh, we, no design yet, no, no, no. Uh, final solutions, so... My, many things are not uh, decided yet, so... And so, but, but it's interesting because we are doing many things right now and uh, you should know that uh, what um, all the things that uh, you write us on Kickstarter, on social networks, all your questions and and so on, they are really matter because uh, there are decisions we take right here and there, uh, here, now and, uh, I'm sorry, here and now, uh, because uh, according and or maybe based on uh, things uh, our players and bakers said and are waiting and there are, uh, you, uh, your voice really matters in this, so it's really great. You shape somehow what you see uh, uh, at the release. <laughs> now sculpt this 16 million locusts by hand, one by one. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you're excited as hell, I think. Uh, I, mean, I mean, you could sculpt a base for the for it, and then add some effects on top of it. So that's one way of doing it. <coughs> Copy and paste. Yeah. And uh, put in a dif different di direction. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Th that's not my. Make job. them swarming. Yeah. <laughs> uh, What about the saddles? What what about the saddles? I I'm, I'm, I don't understand you. Fast headed ninety seven. Swarm is a th a th the theme <laughs> now. <laughs> Will swarms <laughs> use some form of fluid mechanics to model? 
seems cool if the engine supports that. Uh, that will be really cool. That guy needs fangs, they say. He does, yeah. Will he but have some? Fangs are part of the body, so. Um, part of the body? Uh, yeah. Or uh, teeth you mean you mean yeah, thing, teeth. Okay, yeah, he, he does. He probably uh, he probably will. Oh, that's I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay, so we don't have fangs on the concept art, but uh, for us, you will draw them. Uh, it makes sense actually. I'm I'm not sure. Maybe I'll, I will add them. Here later. comes. Uh, the artistic freedom here. Yeah. If you have rideable horses, they have settles to model. Ah, so will you model or your colleagues model any settles? So that's not a question to me, it's a question to our uh, environment artists because she handles environments and also creatures which mm -hmm. are not playable, so I'm not sure. But probably there will be some kind yeah, of... Yeah, well, probably yes. Roller will save to resist the attempt of seduction. For this cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's dangerous. Mm, it I would be <coughs> cool if uh, the swarm that walks had different locusts representing armor, weapon, body, etc. <laughs> well, all of them made of locusts. That's fun. Sounds fun. Like, uh, he, he's like tr transformer. It needs to be a separate stage goal. I think. Within, within <laughs> himself. Yeah, and uh, they all should be moving and animated. But that also sounds really cool. Uh, we're gathering great idea ideas for <laughs> for the next project. Yeah. <laughs> out uh, funny questions but it may uh, but I, I should read them now <laughs> did you sculpt anyone from dev team into the game and does Alec the trader looks like actual Alec well uh, no he doesn't look by, uh, like actual Alec but as far as I know we've made an actual Alexei Drubeshevsky with his shirt <laughs> Yeah, but we didn't sculpt anything. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, in King Maker it was a different process. So. Yeah, it, it, we put uh, him together, but he resembles uh, real Alexei. We, we really painted his face very much. Ah, yeah. We, I, I, I believe we've already shown uh, some time ago this uh, scre uh, screen cap. Can see. <clears throat> oh, 
all right so what do we have here Look, companions have unique looks when they put on armors like in Dragon Age Inquisition or will they look the same in the same armor? Uh, well, I think it's the like same. like uh, Kingmaker. It's, it's the it's, same, yeah. Uh, they... Uh, uh, the body type will differ according to the race. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Yeah. The proportions will change, but... Yeah. Hi, is this from the upcoming Pathfinder, Pathfinder game? Right, edge winged. Uh, those faces you see now, and uh, the, uh, uh, the faces you are seeing now, and uh, the one we are started with, uh, are actual faces for the future game. Yep. <coughs> Will you add other two races who spoil DLC? If I tell you now, <laughs> uh, will it be fun to vote? <laughs> what do you think? Uh, actually, uh, it's little chance. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, we wouldn't have uh, asked you for such extreme thing as choosing between <laughs> Three great furious. If we could just add them all, uh, th there are huge wars uh, w within uh, the studio about them. Uh, everybody likes different. <laughs> and it's going to be a challenge to mm. like making furry characters. Ah, you mean uh, the process of yeah, actually yeah, making uh, yeah. the, the one who wins. Yeah, right, it's a whole, whole different models. The, Body the Red Folk is going to be the easiest, I guess. Why? If, if it gets picked, because it has less fur and uh, you can... No, the Kitsune is quite... Uh, how, how, uh, the fur is not... Uh, <laughs> Piglash on it. Uh, less I mean, uh, near the body. They they've got less fur, so you can get away with just painting this on the body that already exists. But with the uh, cats and foxes, you will probably need to create a new sculpt. We'll no, see no, how it goes. I think red folks are quite same. Oh. Uh, what what uh, other things that makes uh, make uh, this dif difficult? Uh, make what? Uh, <coughs> we're adding one of the forests. So what uh, we will make for them? Uh, oh yeah. So the most difficult thing. I, I'm not sure if the most, but one of the, one of the difficult things is going to be uh, to fit their faces in our helmets. So That's right. if you're making a fox and its face is probably <laughs> <Show go> us. <laughs> going to look like that, yeah, and uh, then you've got a helmet which covers the whole face, and then you, uh, you then somehow there's should, a nose uh, stucking yeah, out. Yeah, and, and they, uh, it's basically uh, your choice here is to make the noses less uh, noticeable, or you make a separate set of helmets. Uh, just for this race. So. I'm not sure yet how we will approach this. <laughs> just make them all look like they were recently shaved. Uh, it will, <laughs> was a terrible accident that uh, took place to the entire population just before the events of the game. Yes, and uh, you should take into their account uh, uh, the terrible, um, uh, terrible, terrible magical radiation from uh, the war wound. 
So uh, the red fox are uh, turning to um, uh, Mo mongrel foxes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> to mongrels, <laughs> but uh, red ones. Yeah, and no one needs to <laughs> to make fur, <laughs> but. You, you still need to make uh, helmets, or uh, make it a part of a lore that they never wear helmets. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it would be For the best uh, solution. <laughs> just, just a little work, <laughs> extra work for a narrative designers. <laughs> it's fine. That they have such beautiful faces, such charisma, so they don't need any helmets. Or you, I, I see you. You're going just wild here in the chat, talking about bold Queen Gulfrey. <laughs> What's wrong with? That's why you wanted to, 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 to romance her, to shave, shame on you. She's a queen. Have have some respect. Okay, throw in mice in the uh, mice in the chat. <laughs> um, Great way uh, to to spam and to, to uh, vote, but we will not be able to count that votes. There was a helmet ban due to material shortages after the war in Kingmaker, and uh, I think all the helmets uh, were reforged to weapons. <laughs> but why? Something. Why only foxes? Why not humans? It's called for humans without oh. a helmet, <laughs> but not for foxes. Eh? 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 It's It's uh, it can cannot be translated. <laughs> mm. Will circlets and other accessories show on the character model? Accessories are... Circlets? I, I don't know. Mm. Um, the headbands, we were, were going to test them. Uh, the glasses, the masks. Not sure about circlets. And uh, the sound. As well as Kingmaker sound. Well, it's uh, bags. No, yeah. did you mean it? I mean, They're all accessories. I guess, I guess they don't call it accessories. I think, it, they I were think called, we do. <laughs> they were called accessories uh, back uh, in the Kingmaker development. Oh, okay. But I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry. Um, Look, guys, you have 5,000 followers on Instagram. Why don't you update? I'm sorry, I, I was sure we updated uh, already. Uh, we'll do it soon, I hope. We, not, not always we manage uh, to keep on track. But we're doing our best. <laughs> I mean, if she is a queen, then however she looks is in the style, right? Right, but you won't shave her anyway. <laughs> that, just, that just won't happen. Oh, that would be super awesome. Romance between Queen Golfer and my swarm of rats. 
you're really going wild, wild here. <clears throat> ah, uh, she meant, uh, will we see some, some extra accessories, uh, in-game accessories, like, uh, that are giving, uh, bonuses that are going to the slots, like, uh, amulets, Okay, so uh, we can probably uh, rings, answer... Rings on this model? And, uh, yeah, we were actually planning this. Yeah. To add rings, uh, yeah, so you could actually see them on the fingers. Uh, wow. If you, if you can man manage to see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or zoom uh, in... Uh, uh, for, for this big... <coughs> Sounds sweet, actually. Oh, I fr I'm afraid that I am I'm again uh, lost all romance because I I, I was too shy. Oh. Uh, Put it uh, this way, uh, maybe you are shy, but your character don't necessarily need to be shy. Or is it vice versa? You are okay at life, but you are playing a shy person. Uh, but also, shy persons, uh, it's... Uh, it's <coughs> They actually have love and, and find uh, their uh, uh, their best halves. So uh, it's it's not necessarily if uh, you're shy, you don't have any romance. It's just uh, like how how you will uh, role play it. This can happen. I can decide if this guy is evil enough yet or not. Hmm. Maybe he needs a bigger change. Well, what sure. do you think? Let's uh, ask our ch chat. Oh yeah. <laughs> do do yeah, they want uh, more evilness? Oh. Or... <laughs> or funny cheeks. <laughs> Uh, he's a bit uh, a rough person, I can see, but uh, not necessarily evil. It's just what's inside him? <laughs> it's just a face. <laughs> uh, well, the chat says you can never be too evil. Looks great and nose that, hair. Yeah, point. I've told about the nose uh, hair. Definitely uh, more, more evilness. That does it make people look, more evil? Sh uh, sure. If, if you forget to shave your nose hair. Or older. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, sometimes. And smile on face. Oh. Everybody can smile. Oh, <laughs> he sh he's really uh, less evil. Yeah, he's really friendly <laughs> but, now. But, but <laughs> that is so sweet. <laughs> I, now I want you to, to to keep the previous thing <laughs> yeah, <well, laughs> with the mouth. I, I, so this is where our freedom ends. We can't do this. <laughs> uh, ear piercings? <laughs> do I have ear piercings? In oh, um, by the way. Didn't hear about it yet. I don't know. Some style. Some tunnels. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's a demon thing, that's for sure. 
he has uh, two little uh, how is it called uh, these things yeah, I, I know to what have it's called in to, Russian, to yeah. have tunnel <laughs> in them. Now they want the ear piercings. <laughs> oh, you still didn't make a funks, or it's uh, they're ma made separately yeah, after that. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I probably won't do this uh, right now. Later. Not, not on the stream, because I need. Uh, oh. I mean, I've got some funks right there, but for uh. that I need to open another file. Oh, I, I, ca I can just uh, change. Um, the scene for a couple of seconds. No one will notice. Mm -hmm. eh? Okay, so. Eh? Okay. Just, uh, ju just t tell me when. Actually, it, it might be okay. Did they see it? Oh, no. Okay. Can I turn it off? Uh, just, uh, mm, just uh, change the scene to be sure. I think the background. No? Oh, okay, okay. Um. I think we can actually show this guy as well. Hmm, he have funks. Yep. I, d I don't know, it's, uh, you, you know better, uh, we can. I think we can. Okay, so, so will you copy-paste his fangs? Yeah, or? I will just take his fangs. Uh, uh, <gasps> You're our, a dentist now. <laughs> An evil art dentist. <laughs> I'm stealing other people's teeth. <gasps> you are a fae. Teeth fae. <laughs> Fairy. Now they're looking like uh, extra horns. You want them be from. Oops. I, I thought it will be like, you know, this. No? Because mm. this uh, makes him really more like orc. Yeah, it does. But uh, you, have you will make them smaller. Let's try it this way. One dealer uh, says, he, uh, oh no, not kissable anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be like that. Everyone's kissable. And besides the mouth, you can kiss anyone, anywhere. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not a problem at all. He still can do like... He's still so sweet. Now it makes uh, the kiss more fun at a degree of risk. Maybe a little bit. Now we need to change his upper lip for the fangs. Uh, no, no Strat Gemini, we won't uh, 3D model the invisible murder ponies because they're invisible. Eh? But you never Makes know, sense. maybe they uh, will be again, I don't know. It's 
so sweet you're like giving him <laughs> Yes, it's not exactly what I was going for. So someone thinks uh, they will be better facing upwards. I don't know. It's how Alexei decides, after all. I mean, it's not final. Uh, the fact that we are doing this uh, doesn't mean it's going search. to be in the game, yeah. <laughs> Some magic is going on here. There you go, Prince Charming! <laughs> well, Prince Charming was quite an evil guy, <laughs> so it uh, may be a reference. <laughs> You may uh, throw a ribbon or two on the fangs, so he will be cuter. No, he reminds me of some character, but I can't exactly remember which one. Like from a different game. Okay, I guess this will not do. Yeah. Not quite. At least we tried. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, now this is not my character. He didn't have such teeth. Well, uh, I guess this comment was <laughs> before that, and now you're being. <laughs> Oh, invisible murder ponies need models too. What if they walk through the bakery and get covered in floor? Hmm. Do I have such mechanics, uh, like uh, like some spell to cover uh, ponies in floor? <laughs> not, not that I heard of. Well, uh, at least we have uh, like uh, some fairy dust, or <laughs> something like that. He's better without fangs. Yeah, probably. Glitter dust. Yeah, that's the thing I I, I couldn't uh, remember. Thank you, Strat Gemini. You you are always here to help. Uh, the chat suggests Lord MacLeod suggests uh, perhaps some kind of thorns around his chin. Do Tiffnings uh, have these? Mm, they might. They might have something like this. I mean, if they uh, had beers, uh, I this this wouldn't be a possibility. But we didn't them. plant beers for them. Oh, yeah. at all? Yeah. Why so, is uh, that? Instead of beers, they have this like sharp Tri triangle. Yeah. Oh. Uh, is it uh, some cultural uh, thing that all the tieflings uh, are shavi shaving wi wildly or... Maybe it just doesn't grow because they are demons. But they have different uh, heritages. Well, this is how it was in Kingmaker as far as I, as far as I know. But they have different horns. Yeah. Instead. Horns. Ah, great. No one else. Have horns. Lan has a horn, right? Uh, tieflings and Lan, all uh, <laughs> who have has uh, have have has, has, has horns, right? But you know, Lan's quite exclusive in any way. It's just one of a kind. Q. 
key. So, uh, maybe you can tell something else. Uh, like about what? Uh, among uh, the models you've already done for the new game, maybe you have oh, yeah, some you favorite ones. Oh. Or maybe interesting ones, or maybe some har from harder to make. From this game? Yes, this project. The for Russ of Rages. Mm, I guess the hardest was the hardest one wasn't my favorite, but it's uh, the half F guy. So he has to be uh, like, you know, half human and half elf, and uh, you need uh, to show some very subtle features of his face. So uh, it was difficult. Uh, like, it's, it's not my favorite though, so because it's um, it's not too expressive. It's not like bold guy. It's like not like this one. So, so this, this is the stuff that I enjoy. Uh, you like it uh, more? Um, mm, like how to say it? Uh. <laughs> I mean, how to explain it? Uh, I like when uh, when you don't need to uh, search for some thick balance. And um, I, uh, I like when things. there's uh, like uh, an idea behind the face, like something that describes it all. Like this guy is evil, and it's easy to make because you understand that everything you make about his face is evil. Or well, like this guy, uh, I don't know, this girl is like, very pretty, so you make a pretty girl it, it's easier but when you have something that is in between and you so have to you have to keep a balance yeah yeah so that's that's on more a, subtle on a more it's normal face yeah right? mo more normal faces yeah, i guess that's more fun maybe yeah it's also less fun because you see normal faces every day around you yeah. i mean a good artist always can find a beauty in every face sure yeah but for a game, there is another thing that when so far we're making default faces, and for a default face, you have to make something very, very neutral, mm -hmm. something that everyone will like. So it's also sometimes it's not so fun. And that will maybe suit, fit uh, different uh, characters and situations, yeah. right? Maybe a peasant, or uh, it may be uh, some noble guy, or maybe some trader. Yeah, I mean, the, the default guy, <laughs> like the, the random default guy. <laughs> the uh, red shorts guy. Uh, is it possible to defe defeat a Ravagook creature on ultra ultra hard difficulty setting? Do you mean uh, the unending uh, dungeon looking maker or what? I'm not sure we'll have Ravagook in <laughs> Wrath of Righteous. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, different guys. Mm, but as far as I know, everything is uh, defeatable, but uh, you surely need uh, much, much more effort and tactics. Oh, but I know there are some people who passed in, in the most hard, unfair. <laughs> My favorite faces to draw are old faces, all those wrinkles. Do you like wrinkles? 
<laughs> You're just no. wiping uh, his wrinkles, by the way. I mean, a wrinkle it has to be in the right place. They and do. Uh, they are doing uh, much with the uh, character itself. Yeah. yeah? So you can't just uh, make wrinkles and think, well, the face is done. It's not. You need uh, the basic shape, and uh, then you can add some wrinkles. But again, the wrinkles. I mean, I think that every detail. It has to serve a purpose. Yeah, I mean, uh, the wrinkles always aren't just like that on any face in real yeah. life. They are always, uh, they are appearing as a result of uh, the usual facial expressions. Uh, that means um, the yeah. uh, evil guy uh, has one type of wrinkles. It's always like this. No, not <laughs> exactly, but uh, t just, just for uh, easier... Uh, and uh, some, some some guy who who smiles a lot have different wrinkles and also different facial types I believe have different wrinkle, uh, wrinkles like so so it's a part of uh, inner side of character actually right yeah exactly. The evil guy should have crow's feet because uh, they smile a lot. Well, they may smile differently <laughs> with different expressions, and different alignment. <gasps> Wrinkles as a part of alignment. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, downloaded Pathfinder Kingmaker from a Pirate Bay. I spent eight hours on the game and I liked it. Then I deleted it. I bought the game yesterday on Google. Oh, nice of you. Wow, thank you. Yeah. It's very nice to hear that. Thank you for supporting us. Some, some muscles? I'm not sure actually. <laughs> I'm just searching for some shapes. Uh, at some point you get a little bit tired and uh, you see the face and uh, you can't really decide uh, which way to go. So some pl uh, uh, start playing a little, little bit. What? Start playing a little bit. Yeah, so you, you, when you don't know where to go, you basically just start playing with the little details and just move something, uh, look at it and see if it's good or not. If it's good, you leave it. Uh, if it's not, they go back. Oh, but uh, for uh, th there will be uh, different hairstyles available for, for this face, or it's in a hole like that, uh, some NPC. Hairstyles, yeah, different. That's for sure. So th this is uh, just a placeholder hair. It's, I'm not even sure if it will be in the game. It's like the most neutral default demon. And some uh, form to to orient on. Some form to what? To so so you can um just <laughs> oh, some uh place hold, holder and some form. Oh yeah, of hair. yeah. So you can understand what's, what's what, how it's going to look like with hair on you. Yeah. I mean, we can switch to Unity and show some. Oh, maybe. Uh, yes. So you it's, feel it's like you uh, you're s some somewhere no, I, I near continue. final, or you? It's it's. I guess it's close. Either way, I will have to show it to our director after that. Uh, <laughs> but we don't <laughs> want to uh, <laughs> delete everything. <laughs> 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 
to call him here. Do you turn off the mirror drawing to add finishing touches near the end? Don't know. No, we don't. Uh, uh, we don't, uh, although we can. Because uh, our low poly models, uh, they actually support uh, non symmetrical UV layout. Uh, but we don't. We might uh, add some uh, non symmetrical detail on the textures. But that's uh, like long way from now. It's after baking, it's when we get to the game. You're like Baba Yaga, you're baking. Yeah, humans, baking and baking and swords <laughs> and everyone. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Will all uh, his wrinkles be visible in the game, though? They will. Uh, I guess uh, this is uh, something around how you will see him in the game. Oh, it's quite, quite, quite close. It's, it's still similar. I mean, not similar. It's still visible. Yeah. Compared to Kingmaker, how detailed will faces and character models be? I am sorry if it ha had been asked already, as I just arrived here. Well, uh, firstly, hi. Thank you for being with us. And uh, we, we can repeat, maybe. Uh, we will show it later. Ah, yeah, yeah. right, right. Shame on me. It's uh, the sweetest part we saved for the end. <laughs> maybe after that you will yeah, start like a, a little bit. Uh, yeah. We found one guy from Kingmaker and we basically uh, put him uh, near our new character model so we can compare. So, okay, uh, uh, as we touched this matter and you already uh, suggested it, uh, we may switch for a little bit. Yeah, sure. So mm. maybe when you okay, will so return, if you have some new fresh, fresh ideas. I need to save this guy. Yeah, yes. Please no. do. <laughs> Put the background. Okay. No strat Gemini. Harim won't be your pet. No. Have some respect. here okay oh, right. mm, trying to read the chat so what are we seeing here oh, we don't see anything the yet. brush uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay so uh, we gathered some characters here that we already made and we uh, want you uh, want to show you how they look like in game maker right uh yeah so and here's a guy changed? here's a guy from king maker uh, so, like directly from Kingmaker with all his textures, uh, and uh, this is like our new guy. So it's not the same armor, obviously, but you can uh, see the, the difference. Yeah, you can see the, the difference compared to the details. So uh, in Kingmaker we had um, uh, simple painted textures. So he doesn't have any normal maps. This, this is what we're talking. We were talking about in the beginning. Uh, <coughs> so here we have normal maps, here we have uh, uh, roughness, metalness maps, uh, so it's basically a different shading model. So everything... Hey, hey, <laughs> stop a little bit, uh, let them oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, to, to look sorry. closer. Okay. <laughs> this is how I usually work, I'm just switching everything around. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, electronic uh, maps around you, yeah. just in the air, like uh, so, uh, futuristic. This guy uh, is a cleric and he is wearing some uh, golden magic chain shirt. I don't remember exactly how it was called. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's so, so cute, cute how they turn at once. 
Mm, okay, so um, I uh, like dancing. Oh, there was an Asimar there. Yeah, Go with golden yeah, there eyes. Was. So uh, we've got some paladins here: uh, the male paladin, the female paladin, and uh, what they're wearing here is basically just uh, the, uh, um, the basic outfit. What uh, this is what you see when you choose a character and you pick a paladin. And uh, here is another paladin uh, wearing a dwarven bended mail, I think it was. So, yeah. That's some next gen T posing. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. They're all in T poses. Uh, we will show you some animated characters as well a bit later. Mm. You mean today? Yeah. Wow. Not? Great. <laughs> That's the animation. <laughs> so here is a fighter guy in his basic outfit. Yeah. Uh, so here's the old guy. Here's the bard. bard. Yeah, the blood rager. Ah, that's blood rager. Yeah, and uh, here are some full plate armors. I remember that uh, that once. Yeah, they might have seen them on our video. No, they are from. They uh, were in Kingmaker. Yeah, that too. So this is Mithral Arcane, and this is the Holy Full Plate, and some evil guys. Yeah, rock so guys. It's like the Hell Knight. Uh, evil Plate. Yeah, it's so the Evil Full Plate and the Hell Knight. So, as you can see, we now have uh, all our materials. We can see that uh, metal parts are metal, that they are reflecting light. <coughs> and uh, matte metal, right? Um, They're it's kind also of in, uh, in between. Uh, like glossiness. Yeah, we can, we can change it, of course. Yeah. So, this guy is like just burned a little bit. Or painted. He has some. Scars on his arm. Oh, well, I sh show them closer, maybe. Oh, it's bended. It's really like bended. You can feel uh, s uh, some dwarf uh, <laughs> making it with his hammer. Yeah. <coughs> well, blacksmith for sure. No. Yeah. Maybe not dwarf. I, I don't know. Did dwarf make dwarfs make? Hell Knight armors. Mm, why not? Why shouldn't they? I think they are making everything. Yeah. They, ca they are capable of making it. I guess, yeah. Okay. Uh, so here we've got a bunch of naked guys and girls. <laughs> yeah, that's so, the moment you've, you've been <laughs> waiting for. Yeah, so uh, here's the guy that we me. showed you earlier. This is all half orc. I'm probably switching too fast again. And uh, his female friend. Someone is partying in an office. I think uh, our colleagues are playing some tabletop game right now, as it's Friday. Yeah. So these are the elves. Uh, they're a little bit alien looking. <coughs> uh, the half elves. So. Uh, this is how uh, the detail that we were sculpting before translates into the game. So this is the level of detail you will see in the game, uh, except for the haircut. Yeah. The haircut here is a, a placeholder again. So on the human guy you can see more finished hair. them Tiflin skeleton and other cool oh, yeah, guys. So, so yeah, so here's we the need cool guy. guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, human, half else. Ah, yeah, <laughs> we I, need I, them. I told you, I told you, it was boring. <laughs> it's boring even to scoop it. Well, everybody will be playing with boring guys, but uh, looking. I know. We, we need some. So here wow. are the glowing eyes. Yep. Really, literally glowing. Uh, again, the haircut is placeholder, so it might look uh, similar, but it will be more detailed. And we we have uh, <laughs> detailed underwear, after all. Oh yeah. Why do doesn't skeleton have uh, underwear? What what? 
Why? Maybe, maybe he died like this. Did, didn't, did, didn't they deserve? <laughs> so he has shiny eyes because uh, we used him uh, to make our leech model that we showed at some point. Should we talk about it? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. Well, where's uh, where is his bird? Uh, what a shame. Yeah, it's not here. Maybe I can show it. <coughs> Will tieflings get different tail options? Do you know that? Oh, that's better. Different options. Tails for tieflings. Tails. That's a question. They might or we don't might know. not. <laughs> yeah. What shapes of tails are you waiting for? <laughs> yeah, tell us. <laughs> In the comments. <laughs> Gnomes. Yeah, so here are the gnomes uh, again with temporary haircuts, <coughs> and here are the halflings. For some reason, uh, for some reason, I thought gnomes are, were a little uh, smaller than halflings. Yeah, no? I thought that uh, actually halflings are the smallest. Oh, and this is something that we approved to the spider. As far as I know. Oh, sure, sure. So yeah, that's uh, the basic, uh, the basic peasant clothing. So yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, we we actually did more, but here's like we're just showing you a little. Uh, bit. Something should be left. Yeah. Not shown. It's it's uh, good comes in small portions. Uh, the dwarf girl, uh, she's being maze right now. She's uh, searching for her bird <laughs> and ears, maybe. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, how long does it usually take to fully make one of these models? Uh, do, do you mean uh, just face or yeah. also body? Maybe the <laughs> face, because bodies uh, are already made? Uh, the face, it, um, I mean, to sculpt a, f a face, it's not, uh, it's not that hard. It's like a day or two. Uh, but to bake everything, I, I guess it's like two days. For one uh, for, for one face, person, yeah. And, and this for, includes... For uh, s um, it's like the whole process. Yeah, with the uh, art director, I saw it, it's yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. going straight to the game. Uh, then there's the animation part, when you have to pass it to an animator and he has to skin it so it can be, I mean, it can move. Mm -hmm. So that, that takes some additional time. Uh, do you guys have statistics on how much percent people playing choose certain races well mm -hmm. uh, we don't have exact percent for a game I don't even sh I'm not even sure it's possible but we uh, made some uh, some polls in our social networks and I am hundred percent sure uh, the first place is for the uh, not cool guys. Yeah, the <laughs> hu boring pro human humans, males. Yeah. <laughs> yes, everyone and loves uh, to play human males. Maybe it's uh, like uh, most uh, usable race. Uh, it's, it's somehow um, um, universal. How 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 do you say? It? Uh, it's. Uh, <coughs> Our English is starting to fail us. Yeah. Okay. So. I because don't know. of the pits, right? That's what <coughs> I mean. It might be here. Yeah. But I'm one of uh, of of the of people who who don't look too much to mechanics, feats, and everything, and. I'm choosing, I'm always choosing the race uh, by heart, yeah, myself, but I'm, I'm playing in story mode, 
It's, it's the same for me. I guess many people do that. Yes. Um, yeah, humans have extra feet at level one. That's what I meant, but could, couldn't just see. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, humans are the best race for most classes in Pathfinder. Yeah, Bart, Bart, please. What Bart? Show, show us the Bart again, please. If if she that's what what she meant. It's uh right uh, the same uh, outfit, ba basic outfit. Yeah, for it's Bars, a basic outfit. But it's also more detailed. Yep. Uh, you will be able to change the colors. Uh, uh, just as in Kingmaker. Yeah, just as in Kingmaker, we will have two colors for each basic outfit. So some of this stuff will be recolored. Thanks, awesome bird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You uh, will. Uh, you can listen to him all of, all day long as uh, he's playing his music. Uh, maybe I should launch uh, the character creation stream. Oh uh, sure, let's do that. All right. It's, sounds fun. Ah, so we can, uh, yeah, so we can see dr them drop different outfits. Moving. Yeah, and see some other armors. Can <coughs> we show everything? Probably not <laughs> everything. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, oh, looks like Scout. Well, maybe uh, because of the beard. Maybe. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about maybe we can ask uh, which type they want or something oh it's not uh, such a wide range to choose from for now mm. they they might actually so I mean, which like we can uh, we can ask if they want heavy armor so or chain mail we or have a dressing room here uh, <laughs> which uh, 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 gender do you want us uh, so yeah, th there are restrictions. First of all, we can only show you humans, because uh, yeah, there are some issues issues with animations. So okay, so, so we we can't. <laughs> we can show humans. Okay, humans. So male, female. Male, female. Can we People are asking their... for female. Okay, female. Yeah. But uh, you you understand she won't be completely naked, right? <laughs> Alright, so here's our female character, and we can change some colors. This this is the peasant outfit that you saw earlier. And that's actually a uh, uh, um, how do you call it? not dollroom, but uh, the scene uh, used uh, in Kingmaker 2, but it was upgraded also. Uh, but I, I remember we were using it. Uh, I I mean the scene where we choose different types it's for design <laughs> yeah it's uh, for artists it's not what you're going to see in game exactly but it's for us to check if everything works yeah. correctly yeah <coughs> so let's let's make her paladin maybe so again everything is gray because we can change colors oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cosmic Tiefling wants a dressing room within the game. <laughs> well, uh, I think when we finally make uh, <laughs> uh, uh, how do you call it um, a game just for romance and uh, <laughs> So there should be just dressing room for just changes clothes to your liking. Hi Lisa, nice to see you here. They seem 
I, I, I didn't mean date C, but some, something like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's oh, not about procedure. hands. Uh, that's why we told you it's not that what what you will yeah, see. Ob obviously, it's, yeah, it's, it's not final. Tool. So uh, there are sometimes some little glitches that happen only in this uh, scene. Uh, it's it's been okay for us for a while because we can I mean as an artist you can still see if it, if it's okay or everything something. fits yeah. uh, the colors are okay yeah. uh, and uh, you gather the armor and it everything is there on but the place we, we will definitely change the animations that's for sure yeah. Oh, she's bald. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. We can fix this. Okay. I like the detail on the links. Yeah. Um, when the terms princess. Well, uh. T it's uh, when it's too close it looks like is uh, the the, uh, the armor is a bit stretching it does yeah well you can't do much about it yeah there are all these limitations <coughs> Any cool wizard or sorcerer armor? Uh, you're asking. Armor. Some ropes? I maybe. think you had some rope. Wizard is for ropes. Yeah. Alright. We've got a rope, but it's not for a female, it's not for it's, it's for a male. Okay, so let's change it. Let's see it here. Change the gender instantly. Uh, we don't uh, have a base outfit for the wizard yet. But some some maybe rope. Let's keep it already here. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm looking in the wrong place. And also Oracle or Blood Rager. We already showed Blood Rager with basic outfit, right? Yep. And Oracle, I guess it's not ready. Oracle not ready yet. He will be. So and uh, ah well. yeah we can sh we can show you the cleric so here is cool. the cleric outfit with the arcane robe on it. Oh, back. What's the outfit that turns you into a dragon? Your decisions turned the <laughs> turn you into a dragon. You might know that already. Oh, it's better with Baird, <laughs> I think. Poor decision? No, only the best de decisions turn you into a dragon. I am a dragon, I, I can tell you. <laughs> this is just not my final form. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Well, I he, wasn't... He can be a black guy. Well, I wasn't watching, you, you changed. It all. He's looking deep into your soul. <laughs> uh, we will have more skin colors. We just have three for now. <coughs> <Oops. Oops>. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay, we can do it. Uh, too much fun uh, with uh, hair co color. <laughs> Too much fun is never too much. Uh, I mean, uh, 
he kind of looks like Jesus. Um, every guy with long hair Not anymore. and a beard <laughs> looks like that, right? That's what they say. Will there be a Kickstarter update today? Well, uh, probably not. I'm sorry, but um, it won't happen today. Um, actually, uh, first we uh, aimed to make updates uh, once in one or two days. Sometimes every day, sometimes once in two days. But uh, the campaign was really just wild, and uh, uh, the first uh, times that uh, f first days uh, there were just lots of stretch goals updates, and uh, it was all, all very fast, and we we're like ah. Giving everything we got, <laughs> well, but now uh, we decided to to slow down a little bit, just a little bit. So now, for now, sometimes there will be updates, uh, rare, not uh, s such a scale. So sometimes in two days, sometimes maybe in three days, but we'll keep them coming. Don't you worry, we have some really beautiful, interesting themes coming up, so everything is great. And uh, of course, we all won't uh, forget that uh, this weekend, probably, maybe, uh, the probability is very high, <laughs> it will be a new update about new stretch goal. We're all waiting for it, right? Yes, what Wang uh, said, if the stretch goal is reached, we'll have a stretch goal update, but I think not today. Oh, straps, which straps? I, I, <laughs> I again missed something. Oh, straps, yeah, I guess I missed that too. <laughs> uh, what we see here is a um, Hell Knight uh, breastplate. On the cleric. On the cleric. <laughs> yeah. He can cast sure. for now. I'm not sure if that's but possible. But he feels confident and lawful. Yeah. But he cannot cast. Right? We can change him to a paladin. <laughs> to a blood rage. New stretch goal, more tieflings, everyone is replaced with tieflings. <laughs> and now you understand you, cho you, have cho you chose uh, the exactly the right face to sculpt oh, oh, thing. Or maybe the wrong face. Why? I mean like everywhere. <laughs> demons everywhere. Uh, demons everywhere in the world wound. It's just right. Well, yeah. It sounds legitimate. Demons fighting demons, yeah. Why not? Uh, I'm, I'm sure they are chaotic, right, in Abyss, so they should fight within themselves too, among, among themselves. <laughs> well, we already see plenty of monks in the Kickstarter comments. <laughs> monks armor? <laughs> Do we have monks? <laughs> uh, <laughs> or not yet? We, we don't. Uh, I'm not sure about armor, but we've got uh, the monk plays outfit, yeah, so... Wait. Here's the monk guy. Yeah, his chest. I I, I think they want um, monks so much because of the outfit. Oh yeah, Right. <laughs> naked people again. <laughs> They ask you. Oh, you already changed it. They ask you to make uh, the the monk bold. Mm. <laughs> Sounds <Yeah>. reasonable. <laughs> well, may maybe not all the monks are bold. 
Why? What? Why so stereotype? Do they have beards? Beards, or it's okay with beards? I, I, I think. <coughs> and and you need this uh, uh, blue yeah. arrow, <laughs> probably. <coughs> Now they want to see War Priest. Um, Which we don't have. Yet. Yeah, not yet. Okay. Oh, maybe <laughs> bold female uh, monk. Female monk, yeah. They were hoping, I mean. I mean, uh, <laughs> barbarians uh, and some different. Classes uh, have uh, exactly the same uh, situation at Kingmaker also. And so it's also fixed. Always fixed. Ah, if you make characters symmetrical, how do you, are you <coughs> dealing with Lan's unique look? Uh, mm. So we're making them symmetrical. Uh, for the to speed up the process, but nothing uh, prevents us from making the non-symmetrical, which is why we will make land non-symmetrical. So he's just a unique uh, situation. Yeah. But <coughs> yeah. all right. I don't know. So should we show anything else? Um. You are you done with sculpting? Uh, I mean, okay. I can switch back to sculpting. Ah. Uh, we cannot show vip weapons in this room, I think. Uh, yeah, we can't. Unfortunately, we can't. it's uh, it does uh, it just doesn't have uh, such a tool. It, 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 it might be another stream. I mean, why not? So some. Once, if you, if you want some another art stream with uh, some another uh, themes, yeah. uh, just uh, drop in the chat and uh, we'll think how how to make it interesting. Yeah, uh, it's like a, a little experience t today, so we're grateful for uh, any your reactions on this. Yeah. Well, we've got a guy working on weapons. It used to be my job, but uh, we finally found another talented guy. So <coughs> Forging them. Yeah. So that's like a whole new part of the project. Can we get a pet and monster stream? I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, the uh, thing is... Um, uh, we just uh, took this and sculpting. Yes, it's uh, some process uh, which uh, can be a normal part of uh, stream, but uh, just showing something it's interesting. But we show you and the soul, and what are we doing uh, uh, next? Uh, next two hours, uh, so. Maybe we will be able to show something, but uh, what will we do uh, the whole stream? So it's yeah. a question for me. So the thing is here that um, I'm, I'm mostly done with his face, which is the fun part. And then I am probably going to be lining his uh, horns, uh, like closer to the concept, making like small technical details, showing to the art director, uh, getting some feedback, changing stuff. So it's... Um, it's like a long way, but it's also not so fun. So there's, I guess, it's probably not worth showing you. So. Uh, Gala uh, is saying bye. <laughs> thank you for being with us. Uh, and thank you yeah. for all your help with the social networks. Uh, you are j just doing great. Uh, hope we meet another stream. Well, like uh, people are starting to to bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> maybe uh, we'll end yeah, on maybe it. Maybe it's time. What do you think? Maybe it's time. <coughs> uh, and it's been like two hours. 
Yeah, right. but it's uh, normal uh, length streams actually. Uh, so, thank you for being with us. Uh, the spring is coming, and as well, uh, new strange goals are coming. Yeah, and we're just happy and excited as you are, and uh, hope we'll meet soon. Uh, for now, it's I, I guess it's not announced yet, but I can say we are planning uh, another stream at 9th of March uh, with Alexander Mishunin. We'll be uh, ask, answering your questions. It will be a Q&A stream before the end of Kickstarter, just like in two days before it all ends. So gather your questions. We'll be announced uh, uh, later on uh, the social platforms. Thank you very much your work. Thanks for watching. I, I hope uh, we at least met some of your expectations for, yeah. the, hope, for the quality. Hope uh, it was uh, it was fun and bye-bye. <laughs>